today. Um, I come from one of our private lecture group and I'm going to talk to you today a bit about crowdfunding and the opportunity that exists for, for enterprise to raise finance via crowdfunding. So my presentation is fairly short. Uh, we'll look at the crowdfunding landscape in Europe in particular and uh, the opportunity that exists and then we're going to introduce our project which is called Crucial Crowdfunding. So. so I suppose the best place to start is uh, at the beginning to define what crowdfunding is. So essentially uh, crowdfunding is uh, raising finance via the internet by presenting or asking ordinary internet users. Uh, uh, so this is just some figures that come from research by the University of Cambridge and from CrowdSurfer. Um, what they're telling us is for the years 2012 to the 2014 that there was uh, 510, in December 2014 there was 510 platforms operating in Europe and uh, 502 of these were European based crowdfunding platforms and through these platforms 407 billion euros was raised. In the year 2015 alone uh, it was 4.2 billion which is almost as much as the previous three years combined so it gives us some idea of the pace of uh, growth of this sector. We also see in 2015 there was uh, a real shift towards uh, commercial crowdfunding, which is uh, people investing with a view to getting a financial return as opposed to donation and reward based crowdfunding, which heretofore was the, uh, the biggest sector. So this is the table, this was published in May, just earlier this month in fact, and this shows where that 4.2 billion went to. And we can see equity crowdfunding, which is uh, almost a totally new phenomenon, which is uh, ordinary people investing in businesses via crowdfunding platforms. And it was worth uh, 422 million last year. So for a uh, startup business, if you're you could imagine pitching your business to a dragon's den with literally millions of uh, investors or potential investors. That's really what we talked about here. We can also see uh, loans, which is uh, the most significant part of uh, crowdfunding at the moment, commercial crowdfunding. And we can see it's worth 3.2 billion last year. So that's secured and unsecured business and personal loans. Uh, here we can see uh, invoice trading online, it's also a, a growing area. And finally, uh, we have a look at reward based crowdfunding. It's worth almost 100 million in Europe last year. And reward based crowdfunding for most entrepreneurs and startup companies is the, probably the easiest and the most suitable first choice or first entry into crowdfunding. So, this is what the EU has to say about. Uh, the potential of crowdfunding from uh, some reports that were released in the last couple of years. So it says uh, crowdfunding is a bridge to traditional sources of financing, uh, social engagement and changes the public opinion of entrepreneurship, uh, which is uh, a topic of discussion in this country for a few years about the, the impression or the, the, the opinion of the public about entrepreneurship and business. Uh, it says crowdfunding creates jobs and stimulates innovation. And uh, from the most recent unleashing the potential of crowdfunding in the European Union, it said there's great potential for crowdfunding to complement traditional sources of finance and contribute to the financing of the real economy, which is, uh, has been very significant in recent years with the banks becoming a little bit harder to get money from. And crowdfunding for many people has been that gap. Uh, uh, crowdfunding has real potential to finance different types of projects such as innovative, creative and cultural projects which are types of projects that go particularly well. Activities of social entrepreneurs and projects that have difficulty in accessing other forms of finance. So, with all of this money floating around on the internet, why does uh, every business not take full advantage of it? 
the simple answer is that uh, it's actually not that easy. Um, it can be uh, stressful, it requires tireless effort to succeed, and it's, uh, it's hard work. Uh, there's a, a second point there that requires a high level of creativity in how you publicise and promote your, your project idea or your crowdfunding campaign. Uh, your business and product is immediately in front of the uh, public and in front of uh, your competition as well. So be ready before you launch your crowdfunding campaign. And that's why you're up there, there's nowhere to hide. It's a numbers game, and what we mean by that is that. Uh, for a traditional sort of venture capital or investor finance, you need to impress one person, maybe with deep pockets, but with crowdfunding, you need to catch the imagination of uh, a lot of people. Uh, managing the expectations and demands, uh, again, if, you, if you've got multiples of investors, then you have probably different expectations and different demands from different people. Uh, crowdfunding is very competitive, you're not just competing with uh, the industry competitors, but also with other crowdfunding projects and other crowdfunding websites. It doesn't also work, always work. Um, there's legal, moral and reputational consequences to failure. And uh, I suppose the, the one that you don't always think about is the potential demands of oversubscription. So if you suffer from being too successful, are you able to deliver on the promises if, for example, your campaign goes viral or if you you, you make excess funds and what you're looking for. On the upside of that coin then, um, if you do have a successful crowdfunding campaign, you're not just uh, raising money, but you've also got some other hidden benefits. Um, while you're crowdfunding, you're marketing your campaign and your brand, uh, you're validating your product and your business idea, you're building up loyal customers and supporters base, and your, uh, your investors actually become your, your marketing team to some extent. And it also offers great opportunity to pre-sell your product. Uh, before pre-sell your product and find a race to finance to develop your product. So. so now if I can just talk a little bit about our project, Crucial Crowdfunding. So what we see as uh, possibly the problem and part of the reason why Crowdfunding is not as uh, popular, at least in this country and in some other European countries as it, it could be. Is that uh, the majority of small business or entrepreneurs are not confident or confident to avail of the benefits of the growing global crowdfunding phenomenon. So you can see that last year, worldwide, while we say 4.7 billion in Europe, we're only in the, the infancy compared to the rest of the world, in particular the USA. In 2015, the market was worth 3.4 billion. In 2016, it's, uh, it's set to surpass 50 billion in the crowdfunding co-op. So, um, being the creative force that we are, we decided that we would uh, develop some learning materials to help address these needs. And that we would also, through the project, promote crowdfunding as a real financial financing option for, uh, for, for businesses, for enterprise. So this is the process of a project. It's uh, fairly straightforward and fairly simple. The first one is to research the market and carry out a needs analysis of a target group. And this we have done and you can see our full report is available. Uh, I'll give you the link at the end of the uh, presentation. Uh, the second part is to develop the learning materials in response to the needs analysis. And uh, this is what we're, we're currently going through this phase at the moment. Um, we'll also provide, as well as an uh, e-learning platform, we'll also provide a step-by-step -step guide to, uh, to help people who are going through the process of developing crowdfunding campaigns. So we'll be able to help you along the way. And uh, we also believe in learning by doing, and so the website will also include a diary of our own effort at a crowdfunding campaign. So we uh, were very soon going to be launching a new product on Kickstarter, and uh, we'll provide a, a full step-by-step, words-and-all -step diary of our experiences on that. The third part is just to uh, let people know that these resources are available, that they're free, and that uh, 
of where they can find them. So that will be our um, promotional aspect of the project. Unfortunately, we're not ready to show our website today, but as I mentioned, we've just finished the research phase and we're going through, uh, at the moment, a detailed uh, process of preparing modules and learning content uh, and testing it for, for our website, which will be launched. The target date is uh, sometime around this time next year, but we, we actually hope to have the website up and running by the end of this year. That's it. All that's left is just to introduce uh, our partners on the project. So, Bully Down Climate Metro Group is ourselves. Um, it's an Erasmus Plus, it's an EU funded project. And our partners are in Spain, Greece, Malta, Czechoslovakia, the UK, and uh, Estonia. So, we're, we're, we're very happy to be working with these, and we have a, a fairly progressive team, I think. Uh, just on the final side, I have the link to the report. You'll find it on meag.ie, crucial crowdfunding. And uh, that's my email address there, if anybody wants to get in touch. Uh, you're, all, you're all invited to become testers of the, of the platform once it's ready to go. So if anybody is interested, just drop me a line and we can, we can add you to the, the list. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Michael. Does anybody have any questions?